Hi, and welcome back to the Trigger Newscast. First, I want to preface this by saying that children everywhere should be our number one priority in protecting. We should be looking out for their future at every turn. And what more are we doing as a society if we're not actually protecting our children first? Every institution should be built with the highest esteem to inspire that next generation to come and build upon our great creation. However, it's well known that institutions like foster care and CPS are either extremely underfunded or the services they provide are substandard and have low approval ratings by the citizens who utilize those services. Now, Lynn Wood in the Twitter storm has alleged that Mike Prince and others, including Chief Justice John Roberts' bizarre behavior in the recent election can be proven due to the blackmail that is held upon them. He alleges that he has specific evidence of this blackmail scheme tying back to Epstein's child trafficking endeavors, alleging that the FBI, the CIA, as well as certain state governments, their CPS programs, were well in on trafficking babies and children. Now these are the allegations of attorney Lynn Wood. As wild as these allegations sound, he says that he has the evidence and he's willing to provide it over to Donald Trump, to the General Mike Flynn, or attorney Sidney Powell. He says that those are the only three individuals he trusts. And again, he actually seems genuinely worried about his life in this endeavor. Now, over the last couple days, his Twitter feed has gotten an increasingly aggressive in its allegations against both Chief Justice John Roberts and Mike Pence. However, tonight at roughly midnight, the allegations he releases and the evidence he says he has to back them up are outstandingly wild. Just let me know in the comments what you think below after you hear them. Consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing for more videos like this. Let's get into it. So again, he alleges that he has evidence on file relating to videographic proof of this blackmail scheme. I'm going to leave some of this for your interpretation to read as it's obviously not going to be very friendly if read aloud. But again, it'll paint a very clear picture. If I scroll past anything too fast, feel free to pause so that you can read yourself. Or as you can see up above, Lynn alleges that many issues across our world that seem to be tied to this blackmail scheme that he's describing, the bizarre behavior by these recent officials included. So he's asking Donald Trump specifically tweeting at him. And again, Lynn Wood is no small man. He has a million followers of his own. These tweets that he is throwing out, even in the middle of the night, are getting thousands of retweets. Again, in this effort, he alleges to protect the children. He wishes to put this information out there and also alleges that there are some people within the Trump campaign who have be made barriers from this information coming to light. Again, apparently he's willing to put himself on the line to put this information out there to the public. He says that in an effort to not only dispel the deep state, he had asked those that he had direct evidence of to come forward and resign because he had the evidence. He says now that they haven't, he's willing to turn that evidence over, apparently, which would lead to their arrest. I don't know if what he is alleging is true. Again, the website he takes the memo from is not necessarily an official news site, but as we know, the mainstream media has been shutting down anything related 
to negative press for the Democrats or anything damaging for the deep state. So again, while I can't verify the memo that he provides, I will provide the link in the description so that you can read through it yourself. Again, he says that there's a rising chorus of people questioning his sanity, and he can understand why, but he has no idea what is going to be done or said to him in the next few days because of what he's going to prove in the next few tweets. Again, he provides a huge list of the amount of children missing across the United States, and he says that he has no knowledge of the extent to how wide this scheme is, to how many different intelligence agencies are involved, how many countries, etc. But he alleges that the information he has at least proves that it is a very significant scheme. He says that so far he can tie at least 10 of those agencies to it, including the CCP, the CIA, Mossad, FBI, and the MI6. He says others are easily identifiable. Again, he's throwing this allegation out to Donald Trump. I haven't heard Donald Trump provide any substantive evidence against these uh, with these allegations against Mike Pence or against Chief Justice Roberts, but we did hear him be very scathing against Brad Raffensperger in his phone call yesterday. So again, Lynn Wood says, I would not make this accusation without having a reliable source for it. The stakes were too high for it. So I did the due diligence to validate the accuracy of the shocking information I am revealing tonight. And I am entirely comfortable you are learning the truth. A truth that explains much. So again, he, he recalls on an earlier tweet, he says that that tweet was an insurance policy leading forward that he was going, as a prelude, that he was going to be releasing this information in the future. So again, provided that you have that moment to read that memo, he alleges that this will give you a greater context for what we're about to be seeing as January ensues. He says, essentially... An actor friend he had who passed away in May of 2019, Isaac Cappy, he says that he was forced off of a bridge, prematurely passing away, that this individual was apparently about to release some information and suspiciously passed away. I, I'm assuming that what is going on here is Linwood is alleging that he had contact with that individual, and that is his original source for the information, for the videographic evidence that he has. Again, these are allegations and tweets made by Lynn Wood, which he says he can validate, back up, substantiate, which he's only willing to give to the president, General Michael Flynn, or attorney Sidney Powell. So again, he says that he was concerned that the information from Cappy was not delivered to the president. He says that his, his efforts to get this information to the president may have even been responsible for his early demise. He says apparently he decided to put all of this information just directly out to Twitter as a verbal backup indicating that he's wishing to provide very direct evidence at two specific individuals. I'm assuming that if he really has this evidence, he's also kind of putting it out there and insinuating that there's other people who have the information he has. And I believe he even indicates that if he were to expire, that others would just prematurely release that information. So he says that he decided to post the information on both Twitter and Parler and a hope to get this information out to Donald Trump. Again, these are his allegations. He only substantiates, at least in the Twitter evidence, with the memo, but he alleges that he personally has this evidence and can back it up. I think what's going to 
maybe explode in the next few days as a little bit more information regarding Linwood's allegations, not only of the Epstein scheme, again, with what he's alleging Mike Pence's involvement in Indiana was, as well as the Attorney General of Florida, uh, what her involvement was within the Trump campaign team, and overlooking and ensuring that some of this information didn't come light to the president, at least those are the allegations of attorney Lynn Wood. So again, this is still a developing story. Uh, the evidence has obviously not been provided to the American people, but these allegations that he is making as a defamation lawyer are extremely severe, and I can only assume that, as he says, that the price for speaking truth can be high, and ultimately, one's life, the love, the life, and the lives of his or her family members and friends can be at risk or loss. I ask for your prayers that Almighty God covers me, my family members, and close friends with Psalms 91 protection. Again, he tweets directly at Donald Trump all of this information apparently in a bid to get that direct encryption key to the proper law enforcement channels that can effectuate apparently a way to make these individuals come to justice. I don't know guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you think Attorney Linwood has entirely lost it? Is he just going down the rabbit hole on different internet forums? Or do you think that he is not only laying his credibility on the line, but potentially his life and making these extremely large allegations, which he says he has evidence to back up? Only time will tell, but I'll keep you updated at the next Triggered Newscast.